Ethan, I'll have to ask you for your gun. What I have here to show you today is it's you may think initially this is the actual real deal. <laughs> this is actually a replica, so stick with me. This thing is really cool and it's worth sticking with me. This is a Colt replica and this is actually the John Wayne Duke edition, you know. And uh shoots BBs. You can get this in the pellet version if you so desire. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure the pellet version has a rifled barrel. This one's smooth bore BB, and it has the exact same weight as the actual Peacemaker does. It's actually officially licensed, so it has a John Wayne logo in there with his image in the grips, and it also has a replica of his signature. So that's, I mean, that's his actual signature reproduced and it is trademarked so there you go and here's the specs on it you're looking at a four and a half inch barrel it does have the six shot capacity shoots the BBs and uh, let me just go through this and I'm gonna show you how to use it and we're actually gonna I'm gonna do a little indoor shooting with it since it's snowing outside this is the blued version you can get it in stainless steel you can also get it in a worn, pre-worn finish, and then there's a few versions out there that have all kinds of fancy scroll work on it, and those just uh, drive the price up. This one here I paid $129 for, for it uh, from Pyramid. It is CO2 powered. It does, by law, have to have a safety, so that is incorporated at the bottom, thankfully, so you don't really notice it once you put it on fire and what you want to do is to load it half cock it flip your latch back and make sure you rotate in the correct orientation and it has an actual extractor there so look at that this is what I love about it so it comes with six of these shells and it has a rubber grommet and you're actually going to load your BB in in the grommet there and I'll show you that here in a sec. Let's get you up close. This tray may not be the best but the the easiest way is just take the because it has a grommet at the end just take it and push down on it and there it is loaded. Alright this little peacemaker <laughs> Colt replica does use the 12 gram CO2 cartridges and what you'll do is you'll see there's a little little notch there you just use your finger pull it up it has a built-in hex key right there and you have the screw attachment here so what you want to do initially is make sure that that is threaded all the way out so you can fit your cartridge in. So once it's clear on the surface there, put your cartridge in place. Now you're gonna reinstall your tool. And uh, you could, you know, I don't know what size that is, but you could find a hex tool that would be the same size if you didn't like using your, your grip handle. And you, so I've got it snug so what I'm going to do is go all the way till I hear it pierce see that and then make sure it's snug a good seal um, ideally you want to uh, place a little dab of lube on the end of the cartridge I didn't, I didn't do that on this one um, they make a air pistol lubrication put it there and it's going to keep all your valves and stuff lubricated up. There's a little tab on the top of this hand guard. Make sure that's in first. Pop it in place. Now we are armed, ready to go. All right. 
test it out. Alright, got a little indoor shooting range set up. This is a small Remington target, and you can see my hand here for comparison. It's a small one. I like to get the larger one that's in the future. But I did put an extra piece of cardboard behind the targets that come with it. And uh, this thing is actually meant for pellets. So I do have the BBs that smash real easy. So we'll see if we get any bounce back with the extra cardboard. All right, got my safety glasses on because don't want to shoot my eye out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be standing about... Uh, this is about, right here is 10 feet, let's see how I am in the camera, back on this rug, it's about uh, 12, so between 10 and 12 feet, doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, I got that small target and this is not a rifled barrel, so I'd rather not ricochet a bunch of stuff off, especially since it's the first time shooting this, and it just has a little sight blade on it. So good. All right, so there it is, the Colt SAA Peacemaker <laughs> replica, John Wayne edition. Pick one up if you like. Um, one thing I can say, I've been I've been shooting a little bit down here in the basement in my snake pit. <laughs> Just set up a little small target over there. I need to get me a bigger target. Um, this one, just my thoughts on it with the review. You can see here, it just has the blade front post for the sight, and then you have a groove cut in the back. That takes some getting used to. It's a non-rifled barrel, and it is BBs. So, you know, I noticed, you know, at the 10-foot range, of course, my sight ain't what it used to be, um, with that small little target. I was pretty consistent, you know, with little groupings. As I moved back to about 15, got worse, you know. I, you know, about two out of every six, I was ricocheting all over the place. Ooh, I clean missed that one. You hear that one ricochet around? So, keep that in mind if you're going to try to use this for an indoor range. Um, make sure you have a, a bigger backdrop than what I have to catch those those misses because it's unless you're used to the sight or non-existent <laughs> back sight just that groove then it takes me getting used to in person it looks nice it looks legit let me just say that pick you one up have you a little cowboy action fun John Wayne style boom I'm so glad there wasn't a baby in there.